Hello guys, in this video we are going to solve problem based on inverse Z transform using partial fraction method. Now, here is the question. Determine the inverse Z transform of the given function x of z which is given by z square minus 3z divided by z square plus 3z by 2 minus 1 when ROC is between 1 by 2 and 2. So, first we will follow some certain steps. After that we will see about the ROC. Okay. So, the first step is that, try to simplify this x of z. First thing, you have to see whether it is in positive powers, okay. The z should be in positive powers, that means it should be z, z square, z cube like that, okay. Now, anyways, this is in positive powers. Now, let us go for the next step, we will just simplify this. In numerator, you can see, I can take z as common, okay. So, z I will take common, so remaining is z minus 3 divided by now this one is quadratic form so for quadratic form we can uh, solve this or factorize this expression okay so how to factorize factorize you can go by the method okay regular method that is splitting of the middle term or you can do it by the calculator also so in this calculator you have to go for mode equation is there press option 5 and here you can see the third one that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to the zero which is nothing but the quadratic form and in this we have to give the coefficients here you can see the coefficients will be 1 3 by 2 and minus 1 okay so 1 3 divided by 2 then minus 1 so when you press equal to you will get first value as 1 by 2 then minus 2 so i'm getting the z value as 1 by 2 and minus 2 so how will i write in the linear factors so it will be z if it is plus i'll write z minus 1 by 2 and this one is minus so i'll write z plus 2 that's it okay so whenever we get positive so what you want to do you would write negative just bring this this side so z minus 1 by 2 and this when i bring this side it will be z plus 2 okay so these two other linear factors we got now the next step is that this is nothing but x of z now x of z by z i have to find out okay so x of z divided by z that means this is x of z i have to divide this whole thing by z that's it so i'll write first x of z that is z into z minus 3 whole thing divided by z minus 1 by 2 into z plus 2 now whole thing is z x of z now i have to divide by z that means simply you put it in the denominator this z okay so this is x of z divided by z so it will come in the denominator so this z and this z will get cancelled so remaining part z minus 3 whole thing divided by z minus 1 by 2 into z plus 2 so this is the simplified version so x of z by z we got okay now we have to go for partial fraction next step is to go for the partial fraction method so how will we write this this we have to write see the denominator part you have to see so here linear factors so i can write this as a by z minus 1 by 2 plus b by z plus 2 since the factors in the denominator are linear okay now this is nothing but x of z by z okay so x of z by z is nothing but this one so this i have rewritten in this form okay this is the partial fraction method now i need to find a value as well as the b value how we have to find the a and b value simple method so what you need to do a equal to just cross multiply this to here this thing to here whatever is there in the denominator of a if you want to find out the value of a then whatever is there in the denominator of a just shift it to there that means it will be x of z by z this will go up it will be multiplied with z minus 1 by 2 okay now i need to substitute z value such that this term will become zero this term should be 0 how i can make it as 0 simple thing z i have to put it as 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so if i substitute here plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 becomes 0 so when i need to make this term as 0 
so i have to put substitute z value as 1 by 2 okay now x of z by z i'll write okay what is x of z by z uh, so a equal to x of z by z is this thing this thing okay this is x of z by z so z minus 3 divided by z minus 1 by 2 into z plus 2 this is x of z by z into this term is z z minus 1 by 2 correct okay then i have to put the value of z equal to 1 by 2 the same thing i am writing okay only i have substituted x by x of z by z value now these two terms get cancelled after cancelling these two terms only you have to substitute z value why because if you substitute directly here z value this still this term will become zero this term will become zero so no use it will be zero by zero so after cancelling these two terms you have to substitute z value equal to one by two okay this thing you have to remember so when i substitute z value equal to one by two what happens so a will become one by two minus one by two minus three divided by z plus two is there that means one by two plus two okay so this thing will simplify taking lcm it will be two threes are six so one minus six by two divided by one plus four by two taking lcm okay now here two two get cancelled so one minus six is what minus five and one plus five uh, my one minus oh uh, sorry one plus four is five so five minus five this thing get cancelled that means it will be one so minus sign is there so a value we got it as minus one simple thing now we'll find out b value in order to find out b value again the same thing you have to do so i'll write it here b is equal to what will happen whatever is there in the denominator just shift it to there so it will be x of z divided by z okay this thing will go up that is z plus 2 oh so i have to substitute some value what should be that value that value should make this term as 0 that means i should substitute z value as minus 2 in order to make this term as minus 2 plus 2 is 0 in order to make this term as 0 okay now x of z by z value i need to substitute that is nothing but this okay x of z by z now i'll substitute that so b equals x of z by z my z minus 3 whole thing divided by z minus 1 by 2 into z plus 2 into this term is that z plus 2 so next i need to substitute z is equal to minus 2 remember one thing don't substitute directly because if you substitute now itself this minus 2 plus 2 will become 0 here also minus 2 plus 2 will become 0 so 0 by 0 form you will get okay no use so what you need to do cancel the these two terms these two terms get cancelled okay after cancelling the terms only you have to substitute z equal to minus 2 so after cancelling i will substitute this value so b equal to minus 2 minus 3 divided by minus 2 minus 1 by 2 okay so minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 divided by i'll take lcm minus 4 minus 1 by 2 so this becomes minus 5 by minus 5 by 2 so simple thing this 2 will go up so what will happen minus 2 oh sorry minus 5 into 2 okay by minus 5 this will go up okay so minus 5 minus 5 get cancelled remaining is 2 so what will be the b value b value we got it as So I'll now substitute a and b values here. So a value is minus one. So minus one divided by z minus one by two, and b value is two. So two by z plus two. Okay. Now, next step is that after finding out a and b value and substituting, you have to take. See, we have to find out x of n inverse z transform. Okay. So in order to find x of n, I just want x of z. See here x of n z transform is x of z and x of z inverse z transform will be x of n so from x of z only i will get x of n so here one extra term is z that is z so this i have to take it to the right side okay so when i take it to the right side so x of z will be remaining in the lhs part so in rhs the 
z will go up so it will be minus 1 into z is minus z divided by z minus 1 by 2 plus 2 into z divided by z plus 2 remember one thing that this z will be multiplied to the both of the numerators okay so minus z here 2z okay now next thing as we know we have from this we have to find out inverse z transform x of n this is small x okay so for that purpose you have to remember some formulas a power n u of n z transform will be z by z minus a okay and in order to find out inverse z transform it will be z by z minus a inverse z transform will be a power n u of n so this thing you have to do see here z by z minus a observe here carefully if i see this term z by z minus a so when i compare it with this so what is a value 1 by 2 correct so i can write this as 1 by 2 see here i would i got this i compared with this value okay this term and i have to write it in this form inverse the transform form that is a power n u of n what is a value here it is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 power n u of n 1 minus sign is extra so put it here okay plus 2z z by 2z uh, divided by z plus 2 now 2 is a constant term you just see this part z by z plus 2 now here it is z by z minus a so what will be a value a value will be minus 2 correct when i compare this and this a value will be minus 2 so i can write a power n that is minus 2 power n u of n and this 2 is extra so just multiply here okay so this will be the x of n so this is the inverse the transform you will get it in n form okay this was in z form we are converted into n form using this formula so one more thing they have said this is the inverse z if they ask you just inverse the transform you have to write till here and they have mentioned one more thing that roc so let us see the question again roc is between 1 by 2 and 2 okay whenever they give this type of thing so for this roc we have to write inverse the transform for that what you need to do draw one unit circle uh, before that mention this points so 1 by 2 will be somewhere here 2 will observe you can mark it here okay so i will make one circle 1 by 2 circle and 2 point that circle okay so unit circle will be between somewhere here 1 okay unit circle now the thing is that roc is between these two right so that means between 1 by 2 and 2 it is between these two roc no thing is that in order to write the inverse the transform simple thing what you need to do with respect to 1 by 2 point this circle roc is towards the right side with respect to this point observe roc is towards the right side right it is not towards left it is towards right and with respect to 2 it is towards left roc region region of convergence is towards the left so for 1 by 2 it is towards the right and for 2 it is towards the left so for right we no need to no need to change anything this is for 2 right oh sorry this is for half 1 by 2 thing see here for 1 by 2 thing no need to change anything okay no need to change inverse the transform because since it is R roc is towards the right for left you have to change with respect to 2 it is towards the left where is the 2 th 2 yeah this is the 2 thing okay z plus 2 factor for that we found out the inverse z transform correct 1 by 2 and 2 okay that's why they have given in the question 1 by 2 and 2 so here what i need to change in this part you have to substitute in place of u of n you have to make it as minus u minus n minus 1 minus u of minus n minus 1 so you have to change u of n in case wherever you get left if suppose they give you mention mod z is less than 2 then also you have to change like we have discussed before uh, previous videos in that we have taken three cases three cases question was there so in that we have discussed 
this part okay so in this case whenever they give you in between draw this diagram and try to analyze which is towards the right and which is towards the right, left okay so whenever you get towards the left you have to change this value so x of n will become so this won't change because since it is 1 by 2 it is towards the right right will remain the same whatever is uh, inverse the transform it will remain the same but this thing will change 2 into minus 2 power n here i have to change minus u of minus n minus 1 so minus i will take it outside so i'll make it as minus u of minus n minus 1 that's it so this is the inverse the transform when roc lies between 1 by 2 and 2 so this will remain the same okay for 1 by 2 it will remain the same since it is towards the right for 2 2 value it will change 